I, I'm not doing any damage to her. So in MMA, all I'm doing is holding you down. So, control the position, stay active. And what I want to do is I want to get in her face. I want to impose my will on her. I want to impose my body onto hers. And so I'm rocking forward. And here, this is a scary position to be in. And now, she's open for the ground and pound, and I can do damage here, okay? So I rock. Also, once I rock forward, Guess what happens to her the guard? It opens up. Because she doesn't want to get hit in the face. And when her guard opens up, that's when you look to pass. Take a couple punches and then pass. So control position, stay active, and look to pass. All right, so Something that I took from my instructor, Greg Jackson, and that I've carried with me um, since he's, he's taught it to me, is that a position is just that. It's a position. It doesn't matter if you're on the top or if you're on the bottom, if you think it's a good position or a bad position. It's just a position. So regardless if you're on the bottom or on the top, left or right, against the cage, pushing somebody against the cage, these are all just positions that you need to figure out the answers um, to work through. You can make any position um, become a position that is powerful for you and any position can be a position that you can win the fight in. So anytime you hit the ground, there's no reason to get discouraged. You just have to know what tools you need to use in order to capitalize on that position that you're in. When you hit the ground in MMA, one of the first things that you learn is being in somebody's guard. So Melissa is going to put me in her guard. So who, whoever is on their back, this is her guard. Now I am in Melissa's guard right now, and her feet are crossed, which makes this a closed guard. There are all types of different guards. So she can have a closed guard, she can have an open guard, she opens up her legs, she can put her feet on my hips. As long as I'm in between her legs, this is her guard, okay? so. I feel like this can be this position, just as it is, is a very neutral position. We both have power, we both have leverage. So right now we're gonna talk about the things I can do as a person on top in this position to capitalize and to be the, the one that is winning the fight. The first thing I have to do is stop her hip movement because if she can move her hips, then she can get me in different submissions, she can shrimp out, she can hip up, she can go to stand, yeah, she can do a technical lift and stand. There are all sorts of things she can do if she has control of her hips. So first thing I want to do is control her hips. And how I like to do that is pinch her hips with my knees. So now she has less movement with her hips, she can't move around, and I have her exactly where I want her, which is flat. So the same in stand-up applies to ground, except for we're on the ground. It's all one big circle. <laughs> so if you can apply it to stand up, most likely you're going to be able to apply it to the ground. If you're square to your opponent standing up, that's a huge target. And it's the same thing on the ground. She's flat and square to me, and she has a lot of openings that I can take advantage of. So for her, she's going to want to get to one hip so that she can do whatever she wants to do. And for me, I want to keep her flat. So the basic rule of thumb is if you're on top, I want to take away space. If you're on bottom, you want to, to create space, okay? I take away space, she creates space, okay? You're on top, I want to take away space. So I got her hips pinched, and I want to control her upper body so that she's not going away from me. If I grab her wrist, she can still roll out of those and elbow me herself. She can still, even from this position, hip up, use her um, her elbow to get to one hip. So this is this is um, this position just holding on to her wrist to me isn't as effective unless you're just trying to grab and go, you know. So for me, if I'm trying to control the position before I decide to do anything else, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to the back of her biceps and then I'm going to pin down. So now it's double whammy on her hips, okay? My knees are pinching her hips and so are my elbows. I'm right here and she can't go anywhere. She can't shrimp out, she can't push, she can't do none of that. But again, what am I doing? I, I'm not doing any damage to her. So in MMA, all I'm doing is holding you down and you're just 
you're just milking the clock at this point. You want to do as much damage as you can. So control the position, stay active. Here, I'm not as threatening, right? I mean, you're just like, whatever, we can stay here all day. I would stay here all day, okay? So what I like to do is I like to get in their face, okay? So I'm gonna rock onto my toes, okay? I'm controlling this position. And what I wanna do is I wanna get in her face. I wanna impose my will on her. I want to impose my body onto hers. And so I'm rocking forward. And here, this is a scary position to be in. I'm still controlling her hips, okay? And now I'm in front of her. And that's, I'm, I'm face to face with her. I'm not back here where she can elbow me and she can do different things. I'm rocked right in front of her. I got her hips pinched so she can't do anything. And now she's open for ground and pound and I can do damage here, okay? So I rock. Also, once I rock forward, guess what happens to her, the guard? It opens up because she's the one get hit in the face. And when her guard opens up, that's when you look to pass. Take a couple punches and then pass. So control position, stay active, and look to pass. Once you pass, then you can go for more ground and pound, you can go for another position, or you can go for a submission, okay? So when you're on top, in order to be winning the fight, you need to stay active, okay? You need to control the position, and you need to look to pass. Got it? All right. <laughs>